is amazing. Wow. stayed at Midi Beach and I really wanted to uh, you know try this side of Cannes and so far so good but I'm very tired I will probably continue vlogging bits and pieces after a long time because I had a nice rest in Czech Republic and this is just my favorite place on planet this is basically our view it's it just blows my mind <laughs> And this is actually super nice outfit. Uh, the only thing the, the flat is lacking is enough kind of storage because I do have myself a lot of stuff, my kids have a lot of stuff, so we kind of will have the suitcases situations here. And uh, yeah, she could do <laughs> she could do with better um, covers, a pay hole. I mean, this is this is massive gratitude. I'm so grateful we found this place and we can be here. You just can't stay on the beach all day. You do need to break it properly and have a good at least two hour nap. And then by the time you properly wake up, get ready. So yeah, it's slightly different than when you're on a holiday on your own.
Okay. And the breakfast yeah, on a rainy, stormy morning. We're just calling a lake. We're heading out today. It's the stormy weather. It's actually not so bad. It was really thundery and lightning in the morning. And Liam really wants to go on one of those like little trains that goes through Cannes. I think the tour is like for one hour. I'm wearing this. I took this just in case, but it's actually super warm. And I am very tired, hence why the bags under my eyes, my skin is not the best, but it never is in the summer. So let's head out and we're gonna have fun. Calling a little lift. birthday he's seven we had a little celebration in Czech Republic but his wish today here is to go to a restaurant also get a cake and go to a toy shop so we're gonna head up north to Mujin and Grass for a trip and to a toy shop <laughs> so parents were here obviously you would ask them <laughs> we can go on our own but I don't mind let's just hope Nessa's gonna be alright because she is very tired I'm going for a walk on the beach on my own I think this is the second time on this holiday I have a bit of on my own time and I must say when you're a mom and you have a family it's like at least for me it's one of the biggest luxuries you can have and especially doing something as nice as a walk on the beach and I am feeling very tired on this holiday <laughs> so most mornings when I'm on the holidays I do like to do this but also I need to bear in mind that there always has to be one of us to stay with the kids and Tyke also needs a time on his own so that's why this is the first time, but I'm gonna enjoy it now. 
maybe get a fresh breath on the way back. So we're gonna do some window shopping at some of the luxury stores have a look around this is literally my favorite part of the day like early morning i maybe actually tea you can maybe grab a coffee somewhere if it's open anywhere this early literally every luxury store this morning is having deliveries i'm thinking like give me one of those big boxes <laughs> hotel sur mer which is maybe just 20-25 minute drive from us lovely beaches lovely vibe uh, just for change of scenery i'm wearing my pink calzadonia swimsuit which i actually bought on sale when i was in czech republic i bought it in white in london just when i walk in the store and then my sister absolutely loved it and she found out they do it in pink and blue so we've all both ordered it in pink and this really kind of old see-through sequin dress yes it is long sleeve but i love to wear this pretty much just only on holidays i've had it for a few years it's just from sales in zara but it's a perfect match and i feel like it's that kind of dress which if i want to go to a, a restaurant beach club just to eat you kind of look dressed up but it's that kind of cover up over bikini it's another glorious morning here in Cannes. I already got some sunrash, but luckily my sister, who's a nurse, she sorted out this cream for me, which I put on yesterday and it was gone in the morning, which is amazing. So if I can't get an injection, which I would normally have, for example, in Czech, she would sort it out for me. Um, this is really good and handy thing to have. So it's all gone. So I can happily be in the sun today. And tomorrow I want to leave actually quite early on um, just because we have got probably eight hour drive ahead of us. We're going to stay over at Troy and the following morning, which is going to be Saturday, I would love to kind of explore the town because it's in the Champagne region. I've never been and it looks super charming and really lovely, lovely area and lovely place. So we've got place booked, ferry booked which I'm over the moon about because there's been some massive issues with the traffic control in UK and um, a friend I know from the industry, Ingrid Wilkinson, she was also in Cannes at the same time and I saw their flight was cancelled so I've looked more into that. My friend, my best friend Kat was really trying uh, to get home from Mallorca. She had to fly to Prague then from Prague to Amsterdam and then from there to London to actually be able to get home back to London. So UK is not the best when it comes to flights so I'm actually glad we're driving and we've booked the ferry. So that's enough of ramble that's probably the longest i've talked i'm trying to slightly change the vibe of the videos maybe more to show you and less talking but yeah let's enjoy another beautiful day in my favorite place on earth She's got a really lovely brand called Pilo. Uh, they sell it in many stores, including here in Cannes and also online. And yeah, we're gonna go to have a few hours together, probably drinks in Carlton. 
So I dressed up a little bit because she's extremely beautiful. So pressure is on. Around, better not touch the down. Come a little. 